Have you ever installed a tile job and the joints not be the size that you thought they were? You bought these things, but the joint doesn't match. You're living on the tile edge. My name is Craig and welcome to the channel. I've been a tile contractor in the commercial industry for over 20 years. And this channel is dedicated to teaching the difficult and sometimes simple things about tile and stone. So let's get to today's topic, the edge of the tile. And does it matter? So you finish your installation, like we said in the beginning, but now the grout joints don't match these spacers that you bought. They're a little bit larger. But how was that? Why? I'll tell you why. The edge of your tile probably isn't square. The different profile can make a difference on how thick your grout joint looks. A little confused? Let's go to the whiteboard and see if we can draw it out. First we have a cushioned edge. The cushioned edge is a pressed tile and when it's pressed, it creates a rounded edge. That rounded edge gives the illusion of a larger grout joint. Now, depending on how much that cushion is will depend on how much your grout joint will grow. An eased edge. It is more square than the cushioned edge, and really it's just the sharp 90 degree angle is knocked off, and which creates a small little 45. This is added to your grout joint size. Not normally as large as the cushion edge, a little bit smaller. We're all human. I made a mistake here. Do you see it? Let me know in the comments down below. And then the final one we'll look at is a square edge, which is perpendicular. It's a 90 degree angle. And that 90 degree angle is the exact size of your spacer. So whatever spacer you have, you should see a grout joint size in this. So we talked about three different edge types that could affect the look of your grout joint. Does this mean you need to shrink your grout joint to get the joint size that you want? Possibly. Just remember, you have to have a grout joint between your tiles. An eighth of an inch is great for wall tiles. Three sixteenth is a good rule of thumb for floor tiles. Can they be bigger or larger? Yes. Did this answer any questions lift the fog? I hope so. If it's happened to you, tell me when it happened. Leave it in the comments down below. Tell me what the job was. My commercial contracting friends, please follow me, keep me straight, and also tell me, have you ever seen your installer use this as a spacer? I know you have. If you have a new project coming up, don't forget to shop tilebar.com. We have an ever-expanding inventory of the best visuals in tile and stone and we have setting materials. We're ramping up that offering every day. Like, subscribe, let's learn together and tile the world.